Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Okay, as I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Really quickly, there is, I don't know if this is a guy. Uh, there's someone that is sick. Um, and they are stuck in some type of room with, a in, in a house with a crazy woman. Um, this woman is upset that a man does not love her and he wants to be with someone else or something like that. Uh, this is like her effort to block some type of true love connection or whatever. So, <clears throat> um, in the dream, what I saw was like someone is in a very small room like so th like this is the room the bed is over here his clothes are clothes are hanging right here okay <clears throat> this is like a very small room within a house and this is a masculine that's sick um while while i got the notion that this is kind of like some type of karma playing out for someone with the condition that someone is in is horrendous it is absolutely horrendous there's a woman that's that is literally abusing a man so that he does not have the strength to go somewhere else have a new beginning live a fulfilling life be happy because he maybe told her that he loves someone else wants to be with someone else it's never that serious that you're in danger someone else's life i don't know if this man went and rushed into like a relationship with someone got married to someone or maybe she wanted him to marry him marry her or something like that um, but what I saw in my dream is that one, she may be even poisoning this man with some type of plant, um, because I saw like a pot of plant in, um, a corner, corner of this room and there was like liquid pouring from the plant. It was like a, uh, you know, like a bamboo shoot. Think of like a, the softer version of bamboo shoots, but it was like a bunch of them tied together, but they were growing in a pot. And out of those bamboo shoots were like liquids, like thick, um, kind of like gooey liquid coming out of them. Um, so I think she may be giving some of this to this man, um, kind of like to cause a lot of pain and things like that. Also, I saw that she was like looking for sticks. Like this woman gets a thrill out of torturing this man and like someone is too weak to take care of themselves. Um, and she knows this. So someone is like getting, going out of their way to torture a masculine, but, and she may even be poking him with like needles or like pins and things like that. Like she, someone is very bitter. Someone is very uh, abusive and things like that. And there's someone in some type of dreadful situation that, yeah, that they really need help out of. I think she may, she's trying to end this man. You're going to have to find your strength and get out. Like, separate yourself from this woman this could be someone that you may have gotten married to um you're gonna have to find your strength some way somehow and get away from this person um, so that you can free yourself but the condition i saw someone in in a dream is just very horrendous um and i know we all say oh karma is gonna get you karma is gonna bite you and sometimes people underestimate karma just how bad it's gonna be there's like a man in a room all by himself feeling very lonely, rejected. And it's like there's some type of memory playing over and over in his head. Like he may be missing someone, maybe wanting to communicate with someone. Um, and he's he may be thinking of like something someone may have said to him in the past about how he would end up in a situation like that. Or he will end up in some type of isolated situation or karma will come back to bite him really hard. There's something like that, but there's a man that needs help somewhere. Oh gosh. And he's trapped in a house, in a room, and there's a woman that's abusing him, like beating him possibly with sticks, maybe even depriving him of food, causing him names, all kinds of stuff. Um, and this is possibly someone's wife that's doing this, someone's baby's mother, 
some i don't know what this is it's horrendous okay um let's go ahead and get into this reading there's a family or a couple that may be out here paying people to have something stolen from an energy behind the scenes because they want someone to make a decision to stay in some type of contract that he does not want to be in because he sees that this is a contract that's toxic and karmic and leading to nothing and it's keeping him bonded or some bonded to something he does not want to be a part of so someone could be wanting to free themselves from a situation they may be paying like a king of source to come into a woman's direction to keep her trapped or get her trapped in some type of toxic and karmic cycle um yeah they're trying to pay to have someone trapped they may be trying to even pay yeah say king of source they may be trying to pay to have a police officer bring some type of legal issues to someone, lie on someone, something of that nature. Um, but this cop, if this is a cop that they're doing this with and they don't know is someone may be seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing the truth about an impressed energy, something that a mother figure has been doing behind the scenes to try to block two people from coming together and has gotten a group of people to partake in this. Um, but even though they've partaken in this and tried to block two people, the both of them have still found some type of strength. Both of them may be communicating on some type of spiritual level, but they're trusting their intuition to move forward with life. Um, but there are people still out here trying to steal. Um, like it's a, I, I, this, a, this is a family that's paying, like, I don't know if this is like a, another karmic group, um, paying for some type of lie, some type of entrapment, some type of theft, some type of, I don't know what this is. It's like they want a man to do something that's going to put an end to someone's uh, stability, someone's uh, comfort, someone's uh, security, so that they can block two soulmates, two higher level soulmates, two ascended masters from coming together. They want to cause a tower. Uh, but they themselves are the ones that are about to go through some type of tower. There's an emperor in here that is extremely greedy and is about to lose everything for coming after a feminine energy or not knowing when to let go of something. There's an emperor that is extremely unhinged, um, could be working with a queen of cups, queen of wands in the reverse, um, and things like that. She's going through a tower. He's going through a tower. And I absolutely think that a lot of people in this community and in this family is going through a tower. Whoever they're trying to pay, so that whoever they're trying to pay or whoever they're trying to keep trapped um, is someone that may be wanting to apologize to you, divine being, whether you are a masculine or a feminine. They may be wanting to communicate with you and tell you the truth about what has been taking place behind the scenes and why a group or a family has come together to do something um, to this extent, to take something this far. And it may have a lot to do with some type of money. Um, so he may want to apologize to you or some, have some type of closure with you because he's looking deeper into something and what he has found out is causing him a lot of burdens. So he may be taking the initiative to move on from this karmic community. Uh, be cautious as well. They could be paying someone karmic to come towards you as well to set up something to make it seem like he wants to work with you. And the whole time, maybe he's plotting something, um, maybe in, uh, um, maybe there's something for him to gain out of this. And of course, if he's been paid, he stands to lose a lot, right? Um, but I think someone is wanting to move on, take some type of new path, new direction, uh, kind of just move on with their life and things like that. Um, I'm sorry, like that person that I saw in my dream that is going through that horrendous uh, situation, um, it's just really pitiful. I mean, it's not like, I'm, like my soul is fine. Um, I just, I don't like to see people going through stuff like that, but there's a crazy woman out there that is doing things to a man just to torture him, uh, just to get him to break some type of loyalty he has to someone. Um, and it's like, even though she's out here, like torturing someone, all he thinks about is the person that he has a, a, a commitment, yeah, a, a, like some type of loyalty to, I'm telling you. Like he doesn't care what she does. He's, he's still going to be loyal to a high priestess that's in the upright, or you could just be intuitively gifted or whatever this is. Cause he knows the truth. You will be a king, queen of cups, or this is how he sees you. Like someone has a lot of emotions for you and he's being tortured behind the scenes for having his emotions. 
for wanting to be in love. Yeah, for wanting to be in love. I just saw the four of yeah, I saw the four of wands. For wanting to be in love and knowing who he who it is he's supposed to be working with. And she's upset that she he wants to put an end to a chapter. But this King of Swords may want to communicate with you, maybe sending you some type of message and things like that. You may be receiving some type of communication about someone passing away as well. Um, just be on the lookout. Yeah, you may receive some type of message about someone passing away. Or maybe they're putting an end to some type of karmic cycle and choosing to um, heal, self-actualize, and ascend and things like that. So they may want to come in and give you some type of offer. Um, there could be an emperor being paid to come towards you as well to give you some type of offer. It's like they want him to come in and present himself as someone that's like a, a wealthy man, someone that's high ranking. But this is someone under judgment as well. So he's not going to be able to come into your energy. Um, there's just too much chaos going on behind the scenes. Yeah, someone is seeing things from a higher perspective. It's like they pay someone um, to come into your energy. And he's deciding to see things from a, a different uh, point of view, right? Uh, someone is taking a different path. He's like, I know I can't go into this person's energy and manipulate them because they see everything. So instead of me playing these little games with myself, why don't I just go through with my healing, uh, do the right thing, maybe even just move on with my life. Or if I do decide to come towards this person, I'll make sure. Yeah, he knows that you know. <laughs> you say she knows everything. So what's the point of me going towards her with a lie or pretending to be something that I'm not because I'm not, she's going to see right through me. So he said, instead of me taking some type of action to go into this woman's energy to mislead her, I'm just going to go ahead and do the work to heal. I'm going to walk away from this. So he's taking some type of new path in life, which is good for him. I think there's a kink of, yeah, he wants to be genuine. Someone is going through some type of transition, if you notice here, okay? He's going from being toxic and karmic, being in these karmic relationships and interactions and contracts and things like that, to being what? In a genuine connection with someone. And it doesn't have to be you. It can be someone else that he wants to commit to. But there could be someone like a king of swords has been watching you and has been going through some type of healing process, wanting to have some type of new beginning with you. So uh, as difficult as it is, he's been doing the work behind the scenes to heal and things like that. And uh, he may be having some type of epiphany about who you really are and learning that you are someone who's like a temperance energy. This is how this man sees you as someone who's angelic. So he may have been afraid to even come in your energy because a lot of the times with temperance energies, those angelic energies angels and things like that when you come into their 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 uh, um, space their environment when you come around them they don't they reflect not what it is you want them to see they reflect to you what it is they see on a deeper level okay so if you're someone that's dealing with a lot of a lot of insecurities that is going to be reflected back to you if you're someone that uh, does a lot of underhanded moves to other people to secure your finances. They're going to reflect that to you. If you're someone that's uh, uh, jealous, someone that's impulsive, someone that's immature, all of those things, they're going to reflect it to you because angels reflect to you what it is you need to heal so that you can start taking the initiative, the steps to heal. Like they show you what it is that that is there, not what you want them to see. So this man, could, yeah, he's afraid. I'm telling you, he's afraid to take action to come towards you and give you some type of false white first offer because it's not going to lead to anything but endings and disappointments but he knows you're going to see right through him he knows this is not genuine there's somebody behind the scenes that has a genuine offer for you and they're actually doing the work you could have multiple kink of source in this situation but one is full of illusions um, and one is being paid to come towards you. It's a few of them. And then there's one that's in the upright um, and lives according to his morals and do, does not stray far from his morals. There could be a kink of cups behind the scenes as well that's going through some type of disappointment, maybe crying a lot. I think this is a whole group that invested in something that led to nothing but destruction for themselves. It's like you, you, something is going on. A group of people are taking action time and time again. And you're telling them this is a whole community, a whole family that was determined, right, to block someone's confidence, to temper with someone's confidence, someone's strength and everything. They wanted to do nothing but cause conflicts and endings in someone's world, block some type of offer, okay, have someone disappointed, living in poverty, causing illusions and endings, possibly even wanting to end you. 
all kinds of stuff out here and it looks like they're the ones going through this but it's like a group of people taking the taking action to do something repeatedly over and over and over and over and then we as the terror community we keep telling them hey this is what's going to happen when you do this you know you need to take a different path with this hermit out here you need to do something else this is not going to end well for you, but they still keep doing it. They still keep invading people's privacies. They still keep lying. They still keep causing illusions and things like that, all for some type of money based on false promises someone made to them. This whole family is going to have to take a new direction in life. They are on some type of rocky ground, and they're going to have to take some type of new direction because this empress or high priestess, is head of a victory and you have another high priestess behind the scenes that's going through some type of burden um, may have been the one in this community that was attacking you spiritually or maybe she thought these people had to come after someone spiritually but they're all living in some type of fear because of the actions they've been taking against you as a group to steal from you block you sneak you block some type of offer uh, steal some type of offer from being given to you okay someone in this community could be sick um, not doing very well. This could be the masculine that I possibly saw in my dream, or there could be a queen of wands that is mentally unstable within this uh, community and things like that. It's almost as though the universe is mirroring to these people what it is they wanted happening to you. So whatever they were manifesting for you is what's happening to them. Okay. Uh, you do have a few narcissists in here that still want to keep going forward. Someone is still, no matter how sick they are, they are still taking action to continue to do something even though their health is declining. That is how crazy it is. There's an emperor that's trapped in an unhappy marriage, unhappy relationship. Wants to have a fresh start somewhere, but he feels trapped. Someone finances could be being depleted. Someone may be having to do checks and balances. Someone may be wanting to communicate with you. Maybe wanting to have a new beginning. Wanting to feel hopeful again in life. They all may be watching you and things like that. It's just like, like my energy is down because I can feel these people's energy. It's like they're exhausted, but they want to keep going. It's kind of like just living in denial, not wanting to take accountability, not wanting to see things for what it is or what they are because they're still out here being hopeful that they're going to succeed against the universe. Because at this point, they're not going against the high priestess herself. They're going against the universe and they don't understand why things are not going in their favor. It's because they've been tempering with karma, trying to manipulate people and how they, yeah, causing a lot of manipulation and trying to uh, control how people see things. But the truth is how it's like these people are, they're not getting any type of fulfillment out of this. People are not doing well mentally, emotionally or nothing. And they're planning to send someone in to come give you an offer just to end you. Okay, there's a king of wands that's going through some type of ending behind the scene. His finances could be being depleted by the universe as well. It's just like all of this is so unnecessary, but what can you do? You can only tell people something for so long. It's up to them to do what it is they need to do in order to balance their lives out because it doesn't matter how long they all go, what they do. They're not destined to defeat whoever this is or whoever these two people are. They are not destined to defeat them. This emperor has a lot of passion for someone, a lot of emotions and things like that. Wants to have a family with someone, wants to share, do have an equal give and take with someone. And these people have been very determined to keep him stuck, keep him afraid of you, block him from taking any type of actions towards you. He finds you to be very beautiful. May want to commit to you, whatever this is. Sees you as wish fulfillment. It's like he has everything but a family and this is what he wants to have. But they are lying to him, manipulating him to keep him trapped in some type of contract. Um, and it's just not working. It's not working. Um, so you may have two people. You have your emperor that does want to come towards you and then you have a king of swords that does want to come towards you. One of them wants to spoil you and the other one, one is coming in to cause illusions. And you need to ask your ancestors to keep the one that's coming in to cause illusions out of your energy because you do deserve this new beginning that the universe wants to give you. Okay, you've already communicated to them what it is you want. Someone that's disciplined, someone that's hardworking, someone that's abundant, just like you are in the spirit. And yeah, someone that's abundant, you will be abundant in 
the physical as well. You could have a king of cups that's coming towards you, but is afraid of speaking his truth to you. Someone, I don't know what this is, but it's just like, I think it's a lot of people, a lot of people and too many people in a situation and karma is taking place. Everybody is getting, getting their share of the humble pie or their piece of the humble pie. They don't want it. There's especially a queen of wands that's just wanting to take over the reading girl. We don't got time for this stuff. Someone is into a lot of dark magic. Yeah. I said dark magic and sure. Oh my gosh, these people are tiring. Someone is into a lot of dark magic, a lot of manipulations and things like that. There is absolutely an emperor in here that's coming to give you some type of offer to keep you trapped. This could be someone that's stuck in their mind all day. Yeah, he's stuck in his mind all day. He may not want someone to give you an offer because he knows you and someone are a match. Okay. Um, someone may even play a lot of mind games it's like they're coming in to give you an offer just so they can start a new karmic cycle with you uh to have you blocked mentally trapped unable to receive your downloads your communication from the spirit realm and things like that but it's like no matter what these people are doing you are still in tune with yourself you are still seeing things from a higher perspective you don't have any troubles with receiving your downloads. They are the ones that are trapped. It could be someone very young out here that they may have hired to stalk you online, cause you blockages and things like that. And this person is going through some type of mental conflict or they're not doing well either. Um, I don't know what this is. It's just ridiculous. But um, there is someone, look, that man I mentioned in the beginning, I don't know if there are people in this community I don't know if there are people in this community that is aware of who this man is, but someone is being mistreated by their partner behind closed doors um, because they don't want him. Yeah, he's being tormented because of his heart's desire. Like he knows who he wants to be with and they're not happy with it or the partner is not happy with it. There's some type of superficial love connection that is taking place that he wants to put an end to because it's not fulfilling. He thought he had manifested something really abundant, something very fruitful, someone that, something that was equal give and take, but it's turning out to be nothing but toxicity. Um, I think a masculine is finding out that something was nothing but a show when like a wedding was going on or some type of, uh, like the beginning of a commitment with he and someone was just a show. Um, it's like he didn't know someone had set everything up to make it look a certain way just so that he will not end up with his divine feminine or whoever it is he's meant to be with or who he was interested in and someone is dealing with a lot of past traumas and this is how they end up in this situation they tend to not listen to their intuition is that someone met and i said this he met a karmic and a divine being the karmic put on a show and he fell for it and now he's trapped in some type of situation Wanting to have a new life, a new world, and it's going to be quite difficult. But hopefully, someone's been seeking approval their whole life. Is that people? Someone gets into relationships for approval. Someone works a certain position for approval. Someone uh, walks around pretending to be perfect for approval. There's something with someone's mental. It's like they're stuck in their mind all the time and they do a lot of things for approval because this is the kind of, these are the kind of people that he's around. They do everything for approval. They're out here seeking approval all the time. And that is a very dangerous mindset to have. Anyways, we have a eight. Okay. Uh, you have a lot of abundance coming your way. Uh, you may be someone that's spiritually gifted and you are going to have a lot of abundance, like a 10 of pentacles abundance because of your spirituality. People will see you. People will celebrate you. Your gifts will make a difference in the world. If you're someone that's into spirituality, if you're someone that's business savvy, you started some type of new business, it will be successful. It said you are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. I'm telling you, your spiritual gifts, your spiritual work is going to lead to a lot of abundance. And it may have to do with you helping people heal from past traumas and things like they're understanding their emotions and balancing their emotions and their mental out. There's someone in here is like, 
the thing, the very people that have been going out of their way to block you, stop you, end you, destroy you are the very people you're going to end up helping. A lot of them from a distance. Uh, some of them may end up coming to you once you are in your position because you will be someone very affluent in the world. They may end up coming to you for assistance and things like that with in order to help them heal or or some of them will be out here trying to get a hold of you and they can't find you, don't have contact to you, don't have access to you because you're long gone. Um, and they're going to dread the day that they ever came up against you. Uh, it said past trauma, seek support and allow yourself time to process. Healing isn't linear. And I said that on my channel before. Healing is a very long process and everybody go about healing a little different because we're all different. We are programmed differently. So what works for me is not going to work for you. What works for you is not going to work for the next person. What matters is that you find what it is that works for you and you take it, take the initiative and start doing that. Uh, don't let people tell you what it is you're worth. Don't let people tell you you're not, you don't deserve to be healed. You're not someone in the upright. You've done too much wrong in your life. Blah, 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 blah. No, we are, we are all worthy of healing and things like that. And I'm always going to preach that on my channel. You deserve to heal. Yes, you've done a lot of horrendous and despicable things in your past. But what matters is when you take that initiative to try and heal and you stick to it, you're not going to be successful altogether. When you start, you will have failures and things like that. And that's everybody. Okay. We all have, have our moments where we relapse. But the, the uh, important thing is that when you relapse, you get back up and you keep going. But anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.